San Juanan Tobel, dear staff and students. As the festivities of the graduation ceremonies continue to reverberate from the Salam Auditorium and all across our Auckland Park Kingsway campus, I am thrilled to see the graduation numbers showing that our university is fulfilling its women empowerment vision. You would have noticed that there is an important trend emerging out of the graduation ceremonies. More female graduates are walking the stage to receive their qualifications than their male counterparts. I have no doubt that this augurs well for the country's mission to have more women playing roles in strategic positions and helping in economic development and nation building initiatives. Still on graduations, I'm also pleased that we can now call the renowned world chemist and 2016 Nobel Prize winner, Professor Bernard Fierenka, one of our own. On Tuesday, 2 April 2019, he joined the list of distinguished individuals that our university has bestowed honorary doctoral degrees on. The conferral of the honorary doctorate to Professor Fierenka was in recognition of his outstanding contribution to chemistry in the world. The doctorate also demonstrates our Faculty of Science appreciation for and recognition of Professor Ferienenha's molecular motors discovery in 1999. For starters, molecular motors can transport themselves through the bloodstream in order to deliver drugs to previously unreachable locations in the human body with a higher degree of accuracy. Before the honorary doctoral degree conferral, Professor Ferenian Kha presented a public lecture entitled The Art of Building Small, addressing how fundamental questions and molecular beauty have guided him on his journey in the sciences. Professor Ferenian Kha's research has also been recognized by the conferral of a number of awards including the Cuba European Science Award in 2003, the Spinoza Award in 2004, and many prestigious accolades. Professor Fierenen Kras, congratulations. We are extremely proud to add you to our eminent network of successful UG alumni. As it has become a norm, our university continues to make significant strides on many fronts. This was recently reaffirmed by the release of the January 2019 Initial Test of Competence, ITC, which showed an outstanding performance by our students. The ITC is the first of two professional examinations that candidate chartered accountants are required to pass in order to register with the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, SICA. This year, 241 UJ candidates passed the exam and as in previous years, our university achieved an excellent pass rate with a first-time pass rate of 84% compared to the national first-time pass rate of 76%. These results are testament to the great strategic interventions like the Tutuka program and many others initiated by the Department of Accountancy in the College of Business and Economics. I am not surprised at this feat because our university is known for its leadership position in transforming the accounting profession in the country. UJ is the main contributor of African candidates of all residential universities with 124 successful African candidates passing the ITC exam. In these results, our university has a 73% African pass rate versus a national African pass rate of 56 percent. Congratulations to all our CA stream students for putting UJ in the lead and to the Executive Dean of CBE, Professor Daniel Van Lille, for the excellent stewardship of the college. It is not only in the academic and research excellence that our university is proving its mantle. Please join me in congratulating our master student Chandra Hoffman for being crowned Miss UJ Varsity Cup 2019 winner. Hoffman, a 2019 Mandela Rose Scholar and an industrial sociology student, 
completed their undergraduate degree in psychology with distinction and their honors degree in the same course here at UG. She is an advocate for lifelong learning who wishes to become a lecturer to inspire South African youth. She is a recipient of the 2019 Mandela Rhodes Scholarship in recognition of her leadership qualities and commitment to community service. She is an advocate for lifelong learning who wishes to become a lecturer to inspire South African youth. She is a recipient of the 2019 Mandela Rhodes Scholarship in recognition of her leadership qualities and commitment to community service. Hoffman has in the past received various academic accolades, including the UJ Golden Key Chapter Award that celebrates academic success, leadership, and community service. Chandra, well done. Please be a good ambassador for the University of Johannesburg. Fellow colleagues and dear students, you all know that technology is one of the great human inventions. Just just as its benefits are evident in our everyday lives, so are the detriments that come with those people with malicious intentions. As a university community, we are not spared from the phishing email scams that frequent our inboxes. Our Information and Communication Systems, ICS Division, is continuing its cybersecurity efforts to educate and protect both our staff and students from falling prey to digital scams. Since websites can automatically download files to your computer, a phishing link can infect your computer with viruses in a matter of seconds. Before you click on a link, look for warning signs that will help you determine its legitimacy. If you suspect that you have received a phishing email at work, please report the incident to ICS. Since yesterday, the university has been hosting the Deputy Vice-Chancellor Research and Innovation and Associated Portfolios Forum. The forum has an overarching theme of the fourth industrial revolution. The DVC of this portfolio, Professor Sorab Sina, has been requested to provide an opening discussion on the fourth industrial revolution. The group will also have the opportunity to visit the fourth industrial revolution areas of the university, among them, the 3D printing, the chemical sciences, 3D printed micro pipettes, and the fourth industrial revolution works of the library. As you would know, a university, apart from being a place of teaching and learning, research and innovation, also embraces the spirit of diverse community that supports the needs of people of different backgrounds. Therefore, its staff, students, and visitors must demonstrate a sense of caring in their interactions with each other. At UJ, we have colleagues and fellow students with disabilities, and their presence is truly meaningful and appreciated. Recently, a few of our staff shared their experiences on how to embrace, work, and interact with people with various disabilities. Prospective students have a six-month period to make applications either online via our website or by completing forms which will either be submitted to the Student Enrollment Center or mailed to the university. Online applicants are exempted from paying an application fee, whereas hard copy applicants are expected to pay a non-refundable application fee of 200 rands. I encourage parents, siblings, and friends who know prospective students who wish to enroll at UG to spread the message so that they start applying as early as possible. Have a great weekend. Bye, Danki. Nia Thank you.